Hello children, welcome to another session of maths class. Children, you know that money is an important part of our life. Without money, we can't buy or sell anything. Now, in our previous class, we have uh, studied about time. And in the previous uh, class, that is in class third, we have also studied about money. Now, let's recall what we have studied in our previous class. We all know that 100 paisa makes 1 rupee, right. So, now you can see here that 100 paisa, paisa is equal to 1 rupee. So, this is actually the calculation that we can understand how many paisa makes how many rupees. Now here you are given that dash rupees and dash paisa is written as 147.53 rupees. So in rupees we have 147 that is 147 rupees and how many pesas? It is 53 paisa. So this is how you will do uh, these sums. Then in the second sum 123 rupees 70 paisa is written as rupees 123.70. So, this is how we uh, write when we talk about rupees. Now, uh, apart from this, we have also studied how to add and subtract and multiply and divide these uh, rupees. So, it is very simple to do it. Now, coming on to the story sums, we have also learned how to do it. The first sum, the Rohit purchased a pen for 17 rupees 50 paisa and a notebook for 21 rupees. What amount does he pay to buy both? So that means we have to get the total amount. So what statement will you write? You will have to write the first statement, a pen. So we will see that a pen costs is equal to rupees 17.50 right and a notebook is equal to 21 rupees and no pesa. Now what is the total amount? So total amount is equal to how much you add these numbers and you get the answer. So, it is 38 rupees and 50 paisa is the total cost of both the pen and the notebook. Now, coming on to more about these kind of addition and subtraction. Now, simple additions you have done with small numbers. Now, when you come to bigger numbers and you get a bigger amount, how will you calculate them? So, it is 4217 that is 4217 rupees and 30 paisa added to 3225 rupees 48 paisa. So, this is simple addition as you have been doing the additions in your previous uh, topics. In the same way, we will do the addition and here is the answer that is 7442 rupees and 78 paisa. Now coming to exercise 12.1, it is the same thing, you have to add the numbers and get the answer. So we have already studied how to add them and you can do it in your book. So let us do one of the sums over here. The first sum that we are doing, 8 plus 6 is 14, carry 1, then 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 1. 12 2 and carry 1 again 7 plus 1 is 8 3 plus 5 is 8 and 4 plus 4 is 8 so the answer is 888.24 rupees so in this way you can do all the sums and we have already done uh, addition so it is nothing different so now let us see what is given in this sum. 
solve the following word problems. So, you have to study the word problems and then add the numbers and get the answer. So, do not forget to write the proper statements like I gave you, I told you how to write the statements in your previous problem sum. Then subtracting of money similar to the sums that we have been doing only it is uh, the rupees that is uh, added to it, but addition and subtraction are the same thing. So, let us do one of the sum in this exercise that is 8 minus 0 is 8, 3 minus 5 we cannot do it. So, we carry 1 from here make it 13 and 13 minus 5 is 8, then here it is 6, 6 minus 5 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. So, the answer is rupees 321.68. Got it? So, in this way we can do all the subtraction sums. Similarly, with the word problems and the larger amount subtraction with bigger numbers. Now, coming on to multiplication, it is same you must know the tables of uh, all the numbers till number 20 and that then only you can uh, multiply these numbers. Now, coming on to division also, simple division if you are well aware of the tables then you can easily go with the division sums also. Now, let us see estimating money, how to estimate money. Now, when it is 96 pesos, now here we have rounded off this uh, sum. Now, here in example number 5, it is said 203.96 is uh, to be rounded off to nearest rupees. Now, here you can see that it is 96 pesa, that means it is nearing 200 pesa, which is equivalent to 1 rupee. Now, 1 rupee is added to 203 and it is 204 rupees. Got it? Now, rounding off, as we know, I have already told you in my in our previous classes that we segregate the numbers from 1 to 9 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This group of number if you find it and you have to round off with the last numbers ending in these numbers either 1, 2, 3 or 4 then nothing is to be added, but in the next group that is 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, if these are the last numbers of a digit of a particular number, so these are the last digits of a particular number, then obviously we have to add 1 to the previous number and get the answer, right. So, when we are saying that, now in the second example, it is 2324.35 rupees. So, 35 pesa is not nearing to 100 pesa. So, nothing will be added to it and answer will be only 2324 rupees and no pesa. So, it is an approximation. Now, in this sum we have to we, we can do 239.68 the near uh, nearing uh, nearest rupees you have to round it off to nearest rupees now 68 pesa 68 pesa as you know is nearing to 100 pesa that is it is more than 50 then it is nearing to 100 pesa so it will be 240 uh, rupees right so it is 240 then we can easily do the sums. So, now you can to understand how we will we can evaluate the sums and this is all that we have to learn in this uh, topic. So, see you in our next session with another new topic till then have a nice day.